Hello and welcome to Chimera Systems module development videos. In this video, we'll be going over the Chimera Twilio notification module. This module has been designed to tie into Ignition's notification profiles and extend it using Twilio functionality. As with all of our modules, you can navigate to ChimeraSystems.com, check out our projects, Ignition modules page, and find the module you're looking for. This module comes in a number of different versions, so be sure to download the version that's right for your Ignition gateway. Once you've installed this module, you'll have to create a Twilio profile. Provide your profile with a unique name, your Twilio accounts SID, your Twilio accounts authentication token, an external host name if acknowledgements are going to be enabled, and the phone number registered with your Twilio account. The Twilio module expects this to be an E164 format. So for North America, that would be plus one and then the rest of your number. If you require this to go through a proxy, enter your proxy host and port information here. And if you need to override the default api.twilio.com endpoint, you can do so here as well. The next step is going to be to create an alarm notification profile. Under alarming notifications, create a new alarm notification profile, choosing either Twilio message or Twilio voice. In this example, I'll be using Twilio message. Provide it with a unique name, a description if you wish, and be sure to enable it. You can select the account settings that we just created, the Twilio profile, and if you wish, you can select an audit profile as well. Here again, I've created my own called Twilio message. From our ignition designer, I've created a Boolean tag called Twilio flag and attach an alarm to it called Twilio alarm that when toggled, it's going to call the Twilio Notify pipeline. The Twilio Notify pipeline is very simply a notification block that points to the on-call roster Twilio roster, which is simply myself and includes my cell phone number under the SMS. Now let's test that out. From run mode, if I toggle the flag, this should notify me. I'm not sure if you heard that, but I did successfully receive an alarm notification on my phone that was sent out through the Twilio pipeline. The next thing to see today are the Twilio system functions. The system Twilio send message function simply sends a message to a specified phone number. Again, I'm not sure if you heard that, but I successfully sent myself the message. This is a demo message. The system Twilio get user function is used to get the user object by user ID. In this case, my user ID is zero and I've printed out the information for this user. You can see some of the Twilio related information for that user here. In addition, once you've received a user object, you can use the other system.twilio.get methods to get information out of that user object. A few of them are the get username, get messages received, get messages sent, and get calls received methods. Take a look at the Twilio documentation for the full list. Further documentation on this module can be found by navigating to your configure modules page, scrolling down to the module that you want documentation for, and reading the module documentation here. 